everyone, Jennifer here. Welcome to The Daily Connoisseur. In today's video, I wanted to discuss a parenting topic that has been on my heart for a while, something that I've been wanting to share, something that I have been implementing into my own parenting, and I see really good results from it. So I wanted to just dedicate an entire video to it today, and hopefully it will help you um, and start a discussion where you can also give your tips to me and, and to everybody else who's watching the video. So today I wanted to talk about uh, encouraging your children, giving affirmations for your children, and just affirming to them um, that they are useful and helpful and just affirming to them that they are useful and helpful and loved and wanted and everything and how important that is. So for those of you who are new to my channel, I have three children currently and I'm pregnant with my fourth child. I have uh, two girls, a six-year-old and an eight-year-old and I have a two-year-old son as well. And I'm leaving the gender of the baby that I'm going to have as a surprise for, uh, for the blog. So you don't know what, what that baby is going to be yet. Well, I have some parenting years under my belt, I think I could definitely say. <laughs> um, obviously I'm not the most seasoned parent in the world, but I do know, um, you know the different stages for you know, the young elementary children. And this is such an important formative period in their lives. Honestly, from birth to age eight, I really feel like it's so crucial um, in forming their character and in, in just training them and things like that. We also are a homeschool family, so I'm very interested in uh, teaching my children in different ways that they can retain the knowledge and yet still find um, learning to be joyful. This video is not about academics. Um, this is a, just about everyday life and how we can constantly pour affirmations and encouragement into our children so that they don't feel defeated and they don't feel like they are a nuisance. Uh, now, when I first became a parent, um, I, I knew nothing. No, I knew absolutely nothing. I didn't have any younger siblings. I never really was a babysitter when I was a teenager. I just did not have that much experience with small children. And I was just totally blown away by their strong will, by their attitudes, by their lack of wanting to work or do anything. <laughs> you know, I mean, it really blew me away. I just, I just didn't know what I was doing. Um, so anyway, I fine tuned my parenting. And so now I really feel like, um, you know, we have a very uh, harmonious household with our children. I'm not saying that they don't fight because they do fight, but they are helpful and they uh, get along and they add a lot to our home life. And um, I've always just really been concerned with, uh, I, I didn't want children who just kind of watch TV and play video games all day while mom and dad did all the work. You know what I mean? I think a lot of parents say, oh, well, I want my kids to help, but they're not going to do it you know, I'll have to redo it after they do the chore or whatever it is. So it's just easier if I just quickly do it myself, <laughs> you know? So I've definitely been there, but I think it's extremely important uh, to train your children. And so today we're gonna talk about cleaning, uh, chores, um, and then all sorts of other things. Basically what I'm going to talk to you about is affirmations. Affirmations is saying something positive. And we can definitely get into the rut where we are saying negative things to our children all the time. And it's so hard and I have been there. I'm saying all of this from experience. So, um, you know, things like, oh, I can't believe you did that. What's wrong with you? How did you, how did this happen? What's going on? Well, I've showed you this a million times. Why haven't you done this? Why can't you do, what is, you know, all of that low energy negative talk. Now, those things will come out Trust me, when you are frustrated, and I have said probably all of those things, <laughs> so I am not exempting myself from this, but I find that that just defeats the child. It makes them feel, um, you know, like there is something wrong with them, like they're, they're not helpful in that situation. So I find it's just better to go the other route and just to say positive affirmations. And when you see them doing something that you like, encourage that behavior. I just wrote down a few um, of the affirmations that I regularly say with my children. So, you know, I have two older daughters and they frequently help me with the two-year-old. So they love everything to do with him. They love to change his clothes. They love to change his diapers. They love to um, play with him and read to him. And they, it's wonderful. I mean, it is so wonderful. So 
I see that and I love it, so I want to encourage that. So I'm constantly saying to them, you are so good with babies. You, I can't believe you changed his diaper so well. You're so good with little kids. Look how he responds to you. I just, not in an overly gushy way, and I don't want this to be like a, um, that everybody gets a trophy style parenting. <laughs> but when you see your children doing something that you like, that you want to encourage, and that, or something that you want to nurture in them, maybe they could be better at it, and you're, you're noticing like a small seed there, water that seed, encourage it. So I'm constantly saying to both of my daughters, you're such a good big sister, you're so good with babies, look how much he loves you. You did so well with changing his diaper. I couldn't have done it better myself. That sort of encouraging, and you just see them sort of um, just beam with happiness when you say that to them. They just, they love it. They really do. Now, of course, you can't just be constantly praising them. So you just, you pick the things that you want to focus on, and that's where they really know, you know, you mean what you say, because you're not just constantly saying, oh, you're so wonderful, you're so great. <laughs> um, so that's something I say with my older daughters. Um, this is something that I say to all of them. I say, look how well you cleaned that, because they all help me clean, right? So they'll, the, my older girls will clean their room, they'll clean their bathroom. Um, I'll give them specific tasks. Sometimes they'll mop the floor. They love using that almond floor thing, so they're always fighting over who gets to mop the floor. <laughs> they really love to help me clean every room except the homeschool room. They hate cleaning the homeschool room, so I really need to work on affirmations for that room. But something about that room, it just gets really messy and it's tedious putting everything back. So they don't like cleaning that room, so we're gonna work on that. But they do like to help me clean. Now my son is the ultimate cleaner. He loves to clean and he will drop anything. If I am cleaning, he will drop it and he wants to help me. So he wants to use the spray bottle. He wants to mop. He wants to sweep. He wants to scrub. He wants to vacuum. He wants to do everything and he's only two. So it's not always efficient, but I want to encourage that and nurture that. So I'm constantly saying to him, look what a good job you did cleaning. Look how helpful you are to mommy. Thank you so much for cleaning this. And so I never reject him when he wants to help me clean. Let's say I am in the middle of it and I am just doing a cleaning session and his uh, presence is going to hold me back, which you know it does sometimes because I'm dealing with him. I just give him a spray bottle filled with water and a rag and I say, okay, can you help mommy? Sometimes I just give him the glass cleaner spray because it's natural, I'm not worried about him inhaling uh, toxins. So he will just clean that and I'll just give that to him and let him go to the patio doors and he will spray that and wipe it down. The job that he's doing is not so helpful. Um, but it doesn't matter. The point is, is that I'm encouraging him to clean and, and to get him to like cleaning. And I do the same with my daughters. Um, and a good tip for that is a vacuum. If you have one of those vacuums, like a, we have a dry, wet, dry vac where it has a little hose and there's always little corners with crumbs and dust. And so they really enjoy getting that up. And this is a whole separate video. And by the way, I'm writing about like an entire chapter about this in my new book that's coming out next fall for children about cleaning and, and all of that stuff. So I'm not gonna go too much into it here, but I do like to say to my children, isn't this satisfying when we're cleaning something? I, I want them to feel like they are really getting something out of the experience. Our family room gets so messy because we have these white sofas, we have these pillows on the sofas, tons of pillows and throw blankets, and at the end of the day, everything's on the floor and it just looks so messy. And I was driving myself crazy just cleaning this thing up several times a day. So now I have my girls do it. I rarely do it myself. And so I call it styling the sofas. So I'll say to them, I'll give one of them the task or I'll give one of them one sofa and the other daughter the other sofa. And I'll say, please style the sofas. And they take pleasure out of styling them, you know, putting the throw pillows um, in a certain way, putting the throw blankets on. and and just making the living room look nice. So I just say to both of them, you are so good at styling the living room. I mean, it looks so much better than I could even do it myself, so I do that. Um, and then of course, this of course translates to academics. So, you know, um, you could talk about your children's homework or your test scores or anywhere that they're doing well and praise them with that. An example is the piano. So my daughters both play the piano and when they're practicing, um, I just, I'm always encouraging them like, but I say something very specific, not just, oh, you're so good. You know, I say, 
wow, your dynamics are really improving. I loved how you played that and you got to forte. Or I'll say something like, um, that staccato that you're working on just sounds really great in that song. So specific praise is something that's really important because they know that you're truly listening and you're not just throwing platitudes at them. And I just wrote down another thing that I always say to them is that I always say you have such a good memory. <laughs> So I say this to both of my daughters, you have such a good memory. They do actually, they remember, th I have a terrible memory. They remember things. And so I'm just constantly saying those things. So I wrote down the list of affirmations that I say regularly to my children. It'll be different for you. Um, but if you notice um, something that they do that you really like, you want to encourage them, it's good to remind them that, to encourage them. Um, in an authentic way so that they truly want to continue that behavior. Or if you are trying to change a certain behavior and you want them to adopt a love for cleaning or adopt, um, you know, whatever it is, when they do those things, affirm to them. You know, maybe like you're teaching your teenager how to cook and so teach them how to cook and when you eat, this is so delicious. How did you do this? Like, you know, it just, make them feel encouraged and special in that area. This is something that I just, I've been practicing for a few years now and it just really works. And it, you know, you really do believe what you're told. I mean, just imagine if you, if you said uh, to your child, oh, you're so bad with babies. Like how, why, you know, not that any of you would ever say that, but you, what, what if you said to your child, why can't you get the shirt on him? Why, why did you change his diaper that way? then they just feel like, well, why am I even gonna bother? But when you say to them, you are so good with babies, look how much he you know, loves you and everything, that just builds them up and makes them want to do it more. So that is my um, encouragement for you today. And by the way, this works with other people. You can do this with your husband and just say encouraging, constantly encouraging words. I loved when you did this, you did this. Thank you so much for doing this just gratitude, encouragement, and it just makes the family atmosphere really a lot nicer. <laughs> so that's my encouragement for you today as a parent. I would love to hear from you. What parenting struggles do you have? Do you uh, have any aspect of your children's life that you would love to work on, any character building? Um, do your children love to clean? How can you help them in that area? What sort of affirmations and encouragement do you say to your own children? I would love to hear from you. Let me know and your comment could be chosen as comment of the week on The Daily Connoisseur. Thanks so much for joining me today and I will see you in my next video. Bye.